Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Super quick video today. I'm going to give you a tip on using the graduated and radial filters in Lightroom. This image doesn't necessarily need a graduated or a radial filter, but it's a pretty good image to use for this demonstration. First, I'm going to use the graduated filter. I'm going to open it up by hitting the M key on my keyboard. And let's just say I want to add a graduated filter right at this horizon line here. So I'm just going to click and drag down and I want it perfectly horizontal. So I'm going to hold the shift key in when I do that. So I have this perfectly horizontal graduated filter. And let's just say we do something now. Uh, we'll add some clarity, uh, maybe, I don't know, what could we do? We'll add some contrast, something ridiculous, so you could see the filter there. Let's just say, you know what, it, Sky doesn't need that. I want to add that those adjustments to the bottom part of the image. All you need to do, instead of going on the graduated filter and flipping it around, is hit the apostrophe key on your keyboard, or the single quote key, if you prefer to call it that. And when you do that, it just flips it. So it will just flip it every time you hit it. Now, in real world situation where you might need this is you may lay down, let's get rid of that one. Let's lay down a graduated filter on the sky. We do some adjustments uh, to that graduated filter. And we want another graduated filter directly where this one is, but we want this one to affect the bottom part of the image. Well, what you would do is put this first one down, do your adjustments, right click on the little pin that's right in the middle and click on duplicate. Now you've just doubled up the graduated filter on the top of the image. Well, on the second one, because it's the active one, just hit that apostrophe or single quote key and you just flipped it. So we actually now have two graduated filters, one on top of the other. You can see the second one right here. So we have the two right on top of the other, and one is affecting the top, and one is affecting the bottom. And then you could do individual adjustments to each, but that's kind of a real world situation where you might want to use something like this. Now, I mentioned that this also works with the radial filter. So you could take a radial filter, apply it to your image, and let's just put it right in the middle, and just do something ridiculous, like we'll take, uh, um, exposure up. So we have the outside of the image all affected. Hit that single quote or apostrophe key and we just flipped it, re-inverted it. So you could do that by just keep hitting that key and you'll keep flipping it from inside to outside. So that is a quick little tip on using both the graduated and radial filters in Lightroom. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.